everyone and welcome this is jane from janeliberated.com i am here once again to add value to your life by helping you overcome fear shame resentment and you will never get stuck again in life how to overcome hurt but bear the pain in life people will hurt us in life people will dislike us in life, there are people that don't want to see us progress. But one thing I have come to understand this past years, and I can't stress it enough, learn to overcome every hurt in your life. The pain can be there. Bear it. Meaning, bearing it, it doesn't mean that you don't have to say your mind or this. Just let it be there. You can't erase what has happened, but you can overcome. You can overcome the sadness, the trauma, by not trying to repeat and begin to repeat what has happened to you with pain. I have some points I put down. I don't know what's I don't know how to explain this, but God placed this so strongly in my heart that a lot of people are so, so in pain. They have not overcome the heart. They have not overcome what people did to them. They have not overcome that breakage in marriage. They have not overcome the loss of a dear one. They have not overcome that betrayer. It is not the best for you. Life is too short to be wasted in the negative thoughts, in the negative atmosphere, in the negative situation. But good news is, the good news is, if you invite Christ into your life, he is going to lighten your body. He is going to make you see that nothing just happened to you. Things might happen to you, but they are preparing you for a better future. That is why I said, Overcome the hurt. The pain can be there, yes. I personally, I have been so hurt so many times. I have been uh, abandoned, mistreated, uh, left with pregnancy. I fought for my life in the hospital. I was being abandoned with pregnancy. I was so much in pain years back. But today, never knew, I never knew that God was preparing me for such a time like this. Because if I have not endured or maybe a lot of negative thoughts that came to my mind that time. Maybe I will not be sitting in front of this camera to encourage you with my personal experience. God has a purpose for your life. God doesn't want to see you to continually dwell in that heart. Let it go. Even Jesus Christ was hurt so many times. He was called different kind of names. But he never allow the pain to distract him for where his father was leading him how do you overcome hearts hand over your heart to god i said it right now let christ take over your situation never you form the habits of standing or blocking the way of god with your mind, with your negative thoughts, so that God will have a broad way to be able to clear the road for you and begin to lighten that pain, that hurt in your heart. Stand your ground. If you want to overcome hurt, stand your ground. Know who you are. Know who you are born to be. Know that anything that happened to you or what happened to you or what is happening to you right now doesn't have to define you. If you don't believe in yourself, I am telling you today that I believe in you. Why? Because you are not watching me by accident. God has orchestrated this time so that I will tell you that dark times never last. I think I just recorded a video on that. Dark times never last. Get out of that heart. Let the pain bear it. It has happened. You can't change it. Just bear it and let the pain be gone from your life. Or the heart be gone from your life. Do not procrastinate. 
procrastination has left a lot of people down. They cannot function or function in what God has sent them to do. And one thing you should know about overcoming heart, get through it. You hear me right? Get through it. You might say, or you are just typing in the comment section, oh, you don't know how serious it is. How can you just say, get through it? Get through it. A lot of people have been betrayed. And most of them that made it through are people that never allowed themselves to language in that heart. They bear the pain, but they move through it. They pass through it. They press through it. But I'm here to encourage you today that there is nothing, absolutely nothing God cannot do. If God be for you, who can be against you? God said, I will contend with those that contend with you. Let your mind be free. Allow God to go into the battles for you and your life will definite, definitely never remain the same. But remember one thing. Whatever you are passing through today is not meant to destroy you. It is meant meant to prepare you for the next task ahead of you. Have a fantastic day. But remember, I am your sister in Christ. Love you all.